if sec theta plus tan theta is p, find the value of sec theta, tan theta, and sine theta in terms of p. Okay, so let's write what's given. So it's given that sec theta plus tan theta is p. Okay, now what is the identity of tan and sec? So you should know 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to sec squared theta. Now from this, if you make 1 the subject, or we can write sec squared theta minus tan squared theta is 1. 1 is very important in trigonometry. There are different ones. Uh, sine squared plus cos squared is 1, cos 6 squared minus cos squared is 1, tan squared minus sec squared is 1. So if you remember the ones, it can be very helpful in trigonometry, especially in proofs. Okay, so I'm going to use this. So I'm going to write 6 squared theta minus tan squared theta is 1. So this can be written as difference of two squares, or this is difference of two squares. So you can write this as sec theta uh, minus tan theta. You can also start with plus times sec theta plus tan theta is equal to 1. Now what is sec theta minus, what is sec theta plus tan theta? Sec theta plus tan theta is P. So I can replace this by, so I can write like this. So this is sec theta minus tan theta times P is equal to 1. Now if you make sec theta minus tan theta the subject, so sec theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 over P. Okay. Now what are we doing? We want to find sec theta and tan theta and sine theta. So we have got one equation. So we let me let us rewrite this. So say sec theta plus tan theta is equal to P. So this is nothing but a simultaneous equation. So this and this gets cancelled. So this is 2 sec theta is equal to P plus 1 over P, which is nothing but P squared plus 1 over P which implies sec theta is p squared plus 1 over 2p. So this is one result. Okay, so let us rewrite this in a, let us rewrite this again. So can I write sec theta? Mm, okay, sec theta plus tan theta. Let us rewrite this. Minus sec theta minus tan theta is, what is sec theta plus tan theta? Is P, is nothing but P minus 1 over P. I have rewritten this, sec theta plus tan theta minus sec theta minus tan theta. And I know sec theta plus tan theta is P and sec theta minus tan theta is 1 over P. So expanding this, so this is sec theta plus tan theta minus sec theta plus tan theta plus tan theta is p squared minus 1 over p. So this becomes 2 the sec theta minus sec, uh, sec theta minus sec theta gets cancelled. So 2 tan theta is p squared minus 1 over p. So I can say tan theta is p squared minus 1 over 2p. Okay, so this is fine. So if we have found the value of tan theta and sec theta. We want to find the value of sine theta. Okay, now let us re rewrite. What is sec theta? Sec theta is, let me change color. Sec theta is p squared plus 1 over 2p. This implies cos theta cos is the reciprocal of sec and sec is the reciprocal of cos. So this implies cos theta is nothing but 2p over p squared plus 1. Okay, now tan theta times cos theta is nothing but sine theta over cos theta 
times cos theta times cos theta which is nothing but sine theta so tan theta tan theta minus times cos theta so let me put a, a dot here this is dot multiply tan theta times cos theta is sine theta so change color so I can say tan theta or sine theta is equal to let me rewrite this this is tan theta times cos theta now what is tan theta tan theta is p squared minus 1 over 2p and or tan yeah that is tan theta and what is cos theta cos theta is 2p over p squared plus 1 okay so this 2p will get cancelled so finally sine theta is equal to p squared minus 1 over p squared plus 1 okay so we have found all trig identity sine cos uh, so we have found sine cos uh, tan and cot uh, from tan you can find of course cot